showing a demonstration of how I get my water effect to look the way it does uh, with the various shades to give uh, depth perception basically. Um, I use four different colors. I use uh, this uh, mint green looking color here. These are uh, Liquitex uh, acrylic colors that you can use. Uh, this is just a standard permanent black ink uh, type black paint. Again, it's acrylic. Uh, this is a cerulean blue acrylic paint. And uh, that also is Liquitex. And this is a fine touch acrylic paint. Uh, this is a dark ultramarine blue. I take these four colors I just squirt them out on a piece of plastic, cardboard, whatever. And you don't have to be an art student. You ain't got to be an artist. You don't have to be a professional painter. If you can dab, you can do this. Basically, you just take the colors, you get them in your brush, and you just go to dabbing. It looks funny to start with because you got different colors on top of one another. But you keep dabbing, and it starts to blend. You can go lighter, you can go darker. The main thing you want to do is to keep it all moving. Don't want you don't want to let it sit and start to stiffen up because you'll have to uh, get it moist again. You can do that using water or uh, a squirt a squirt bottle with some water works really good to do like a mist on it. You don't have to be really fast at it, but it does help to have a little speed at it. That way your pattern is more random. There's nothing to dictate which way the water's got to go. You just need to do it to what pleases you, what makes makes you happy, what keeps keeps your interest in what you're doing. So it's, like I said, there's no pattern to it. If you can dab, you can do this. You don't want to overload it to make it real thick. You just want to have a little texture to it so that when you come back with a, a clear coat, it will show a little bit of uh, agitation in the water. I know there's people out there that say water is smooth, it's flat, everything like that. In some places it is. In a naval base, it's part of an ocean, it's part of a moving large body of water such as a river, and there's always movement. So basically you just keep your pattern going, keep your movements going. And you just keep everything blending on through. But like I said, there's no wrong rhyme or reason to what you do. As long as it looks good to you and you're getting the desired effect that you want.